हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एडवांस डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग द चैप्टर इज टाइटल्ड अप्लीकेशंस ऑफ सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग सो व्हाट एवर द सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक्स दे वाज वी हैव लर्नड इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर सो फार वी आर हैविंग देम अप्लाइड फॉर अकम्प्लिशमेंट ऑफ द वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस फ्यू ऑफ द सिलेक्टेड पॉपुलर एप्लीकेशंस वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर the first application that it was signal detection and it was followed by the spectral analysis of three types of the signals first of all we have addressed the sinusoidal signals next to that the speech signals and in the previous video we have covered the spectral analysis of the random signals so let us continue in this series to address the musical sound processing so let us begin to see what are the details of musical sound processing those are benefited by the signal processing techniques those we have learned already so it will be a recap of all those particular things but in concern to the application at hand so let us start with the topic so here we start with our topic the topic titled musical sound processing so as we know the musical sound processing almost all the musical programs are basically produced in two stages nowadays not only the musical sound programs the visual programs that we see on the youtube platform and other online platform also are recorded into the two stages here if you talk about only the sound processing for the musical things here musical tracks here so first of all the sound from each of the individual instrument is first of all recorded in an acoustically inert studio where there is no noise and that will be on a single track afterwards the signals from each of the track are manipulated by the sound engineer for adding the special effects to the audio track and they are further combined into a mix down system for finally generating the stereo recording on a two track instrument here so now the audio effects those can be artificially also generated using the various signal processing circuits and devices and they are further as increasingly being utilized for most of the digital platforms nowadays here we shall be having a brief introduction to the musical sound processing the musical sound processing here we are going to categorize into two types or more specifically we shall say that digital implementation of special audio effects can be classified into two types the first type is time domain operations the time domain operations can benefit us for generation of the echoes reverberation clanging porous generation and phasing etc whereas the second category is of frequency domain operations where the use of digital filters and equalizers accomplish the selected task here so here in this video we shall be confined to only the first two types that is the echo generation and reverberation these are basically belonging to the time domain operations instead of the frequency domain operations the time domain operations are quite simple in most of the time domain operations the basic building block is a delay here so let us have first of all echo generation studied here so there it is first of all the single echo filter so as we see the echoes the repetition of the sound these are simply generated by the delay units also so for example here we have the direct sound and the single echo appearing capital r times sampling periods that can be simply generated by the fir filter as you can see in this particular illustration here so here capital r sampling periods capital r is denoting the delay parameter here see the fir type of the filter that you see in this illustration is characterized by the difference equation here the difference equation we mathematically express to as y of n is equal to x of n added by alpha times x in bracket 
n minus capital R, where mod alpha is less than 1. The equivalent representation into the transfer function form can also be given for the FIR filter illustrated on the previous slide that it is capital H of Z is equal to 1 plus alpha Z to the power minus R here. So R what we have already introduced to be a delay parameter will represent the time the sound wave takes to travel from the sound source to the listener after bouncing back from the reflecting walls whereas the parameter alpha you see in the expression on the right hand side of both the expressions here it is representing the sound loss that has been caused by the propagation that means the journey of the signal and the corresponding reflection here now the impulse response of the single echo filter can be seen with the help of this illustration here so you see the time index n on the horizontal axis whereas amplitude onto the vertical axis and the corresponding magnitude response of a single echo fir filter for the value of alpha the parameter alpha is equal to 0 0.8 for example and capital r that is the delay parameter if for example is equal to 8 this can be visualized in this illustration here so here you see on the horizontal axis the normalized frequency and the magnitude levels on the vertical axis here so here we see the magnitude response that exhibits capital r peaks and capital r dips you see or you can say the crest and the troughs here in the range that is omega from 0 to 2 pi and this is with the peaks occurring at omega is equal to 2 pi k divided by r and the dips occurring at omega is equal to 2k plus 1 times pi divided by r for k is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3 and so on up to capital R minus 1. And because of the comb like shape of this particular magnitude response that you see in the second plot such a filter is also known as comb filter. So this was a discussion with respect to the single echo filter. Now let us discuss multiple echo filter. Now for generation of a fixed number of multiple echoes, those can be spaced capital R sampling periods apart with exponentially decaying amplitudes. One can use the FIR filter with the transfer function given by the mathematical form. Here we have capital H of Z is equal to 1 plus alpha times Z to the power minus R added by alpha square into z to the power minus 2r this way the addition goes to alpha to the power capital n minus 1 into z to the power minus of n minus 1 times r that is equal to 1 minus alpha to the power capital n into z to the power minus n into capital r in the denominator we have 1 minus alpha into z to the power minus capital r See here the IR realization, IR standing for the infinite impulse response for the corresponding filter can be visualized with the help of this illustration. So here at the input we have x of n whereas the output we find y of n. The blocks here you see those have already been recognized into the mathematical expression here. Now the corresponding impulse response of a multiple echo filter if the value of alpha is selected to be 0 0.8 for n is equal to 6 and capital R the delay is selected to be equal to 4 this is the corresponding impulse response. So here you see the time index n on the horizontal axis from 0 to 30 markings here we have and the amplitude label from 0 to 1 on the vertical axis. As infinite number of echoes spaced capital R sampling periods apart with exponentially decaying amplitudes can be created by such an IIR filter with the transfer function of the form given as here we have H of Z is equal to 1 plus alpha times Z to the power minus R added by alpha square into Z to the power minus 2 R further added to 
alpha cube into z to the power minus 3 capital R and the addition goes like this. This we can simplify to the form written as 1 upon 1 minus alpha into z to the power minus r provided mod alpha is less than 1. Now let us visualize one more illustration that shows a possible option for realizing this particular IR filter whose first 61st impulse response samples for r is equal to 4 are indicated by this illustration. So here we have the amplitude labels versus the time index. You see the markings from 0 to 60. That is why we have said 61 times impulse response samples we have in this particular illustration here. And the corresponding magnitude response of this IR filter for example R is equal to 7 if it is selected is shown with the help of another illustration. So here you see magnitude on the vertical axis whereas the normalized frequency on the horizontal axis from the range 0 to 2 pi here. Now here also the magnitude response exhibits R peaks and R dips that is into the range 0 to 2 pi for omega and this is with the peaks occurring at omega is equal to 2 pi k divided by r and the dips occurring at omega is equal to 2 k plus 1 times pi by capital R where k is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on up to capital R minus 1. So this completes the discussion on multiple eco filter with the help of single eco filter and multiple eco filter we can accomplish the task of artificially generation of the echo and that too with the help of a time delay parameter as denoted by capital R here. Now as this is the time domain operation one more time domain operation we shall go for a discussion of that it is a reverberation. So the sound reaching the listener in a closed space for example if it is a concert hall that consists of the several of the components so the sound components are direct sound, the early reflections and the reverberation here. The early reflections are basically composed of several closed spaced echoes that are basically delayed and attenuated copies of the direct sound. Whereas the reverberation is composed of densely packed echoes here. Now for development of a realistic reverberation a reverberator a device with an all pass structure having the transfer function given by this expression that is h of z is equal to alpha plus z to the power minus r divided by 1 plus alpha times z to the power minus r where mod alpha is less than 1 is there. So in the denominator there should be a plus sign it is a typo mistake. Now in the steady state the spectral balance of the sound signal remains unchanged due to the unity magnitude response of the ALPAS reverberator here. Now the IR comp filter that we have seen as the magnitude versus the normalized frequency for the previous filter. Along with that one if we have the all pass reverberator that we see with the help of the illustration the first one. These will be the basic reverberator units that are suitably interconnected for development of a natural surrounding reverberation and for providing the reverberation with the higher echo density the teeth filter has if it is used as a basic unit in a more complex structure as we visualize this particular illustration here. So here we see the amplitude levels versus the time index n. So this was our topic. The topic it was the fifth one from applications of signal processing where we have seen the musical sound processing especially the focus was on to artificially generating the spatial effects to the sound signal. The first two types those are the echo generation and the reverberation we have address which are basically the time domain techniques. Also we have few of the techniques those we can 
classified to be the frequency domain techniques where the use of the digital filter and the equalizer can also be there here so this is our topic and by the next lecture we shall address the digital music synthesis in this particular chapter thank you